All right, guys, we're coming back live from FarleyCon vendor setup. We'll give you an update, let you look. Some of our vendors are here. More and more are showing up to set up. So we're gonna do a quick walk through here. Look at all the awesome items that we can have tomorrow. All you snowman fans, check this out. That is awesome. Once again, we got comic books and comic books and more comic books. Yeah, we got the back to school stuff down there. All right, we'll go ahead and check that out. KDS Comics. All right, Star Wars fans. Force Fire Collectibles has got set up from our last live video. Look at the amazing stuff. Look. Heavy War Mandalorians. There's Yoda. Look at the Mandalorian. The Mando fans. They have you covered. Take a walk around. Say hi to Super Dave. I'm going to try to stay out of his way as much as possible. Still show off the awesome stuff he's got here. Mini figs. We have mini figs. Black series. All kinds of stuff. Bubba Fett. Bob Bubba Fett, the prototype. This is amazing looking stuff. This guy is one of my favorite booths for any show I go to. For those of you looking for a great Christmas present, we have Holiday Trooper, Willipor, Bo-Katan, Dark Ray. All right, so we're going to take some more look at some more comic vendors setting up. Why So Serious Comics, you're going to get to see the back view of Why So Serious. As they're getting their wall set up, they got some comics out. They've got two more tables of comics coming. Rough Edges, setting up. We have comic vendors back here. We'll have gaming. We have more comics back in the corner. Once again, our panel area. Be sure to check out our panels. They will start tomorrow at noon with Dan Jolly and Jason Flowers. More comics will be loaded in tomorrow. We got one of our special guests discussing G.I. Joe. There's one of our great vendors, Mr. Ward. Greetings. <laughs> we got our world famous John Anderson. Always one of our favorite guests we've had here at Farley Con. Appreciate it. And, uh, always look forward to having John come to Farley Con. Super nice guy, great guy, great stories. You got questions about the Marvel Cinematic Universe? That's the man to talk to because he's been in just about every movie they've made. Bobby's setting it up. He's got some Ninja Turtles going on. Transformers, comics. Harley Quinn fans. And a hard, Harley Quinn horror doll. Be sure to check out Bobby. Tree Wishes. They have these most amazing items. Adam's family. There's an Ewok with a Stormtrooper. And this picture does not do this justice. This is amazingly beautiful. Brandon Strickland, thank you for watching the video. Here's your shout out. And guys, I'm horrible at these live videos. I'm horrible about reading the chat. So I'm gonna try to keep up with that as much as I can. Here's the Ward Family Crafters. Hello. They're getting set up, ready to go. 
Polly wants a cocktail. I need that because my parents actually named Polly after Shipwreck's <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Shirt tails. That's something you don't see every day. Amazing items that you can find here tomorrow at Farley Con at Camp Jordan Arena. And amazing jewelry too. Yep, they've got amazing jewelry as well. They are setting up all this. Lots of nice little Halloween earrings. I see some uh, ghost face or scream. And uh, the sugar skull earrings. They have amazing items. Be sure to stop by and check them out. You gotta check out these coasters. All right, you Dave and Buster fans, let's get these cards. Troll, right. that's from Troll, um, Troll Alder Street. Um, you see these coasters. That one may be going home with me. I hadn't decided yet, but I'm leaning that way. All right, we look over here, we see all of these comics, Mike Bray comics. And they are located right across from Marvel, former Marvel editor-in-chief Jim Shooter and Sergeant Slaughter. WWE All Hall of Famer, former WWE World Heavyweight Champion, G.I. Joe Drill Instructor, Sergeant Slaughter. Yes, both of those will be here tomorrow at FarleyCon. See the guys from Epico's Hard at Work. Once again, if you need your comics graded or witnessed, stop by the Epico's booth. And they will be handling the submissions and the authentication submissions for witnessing for CBCS. As you see, people are looking for comics. There's the guys from Cartersville Comic Con and my partners at Calhoun once again looking at these comics. We're going to show off one right here real quick. Mark Ballard's comics. Look at this. Action comic number one. Now this is the reprint. I don't think they would let me hold the real action comics quite like that. Yeah. It's just got the extra gold on it. Yeah, it's got it. It makes it worth more. Yeah. Well, it's not the 1930 super <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so tomorrow we'll have some more comic book vendors, artists, uh, crafters. St. Clair setting up. Hello. Let's see some of this. There's more Star Wars. Look at that. We got Yoda, Bubba Fett, and Mando. There's Han. Need some wrestlers, Ninja Turtles, and of course, G.I. Joe. So we're gonna also look over here and see, they also have pops, a lot of pops. Let me show off one of these pops right here. There's He-Man on Battle Cat. Now, the reason why I showed that off is one of our guests is Robert Lamb. He is, he was an animator on the old filmation, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. He'll be here and he'll also be doing a panel we got Seth setting up. You see, all Steel City Toys, baby. Steel City Toys, and he has a bunch of stuff. I mean, he has got stuff that you just not imagine. Seth, I'm going to take a step around here. Come on in, man. Look around. Hey, G.I. Joe fans, look for an all striker. There you go. This, we got loose He Man and G.I. Joe vehicles. Let's make them really good and jealous here. Oh, you guys are going to get an exclusive look at something first. And he says it's going to make you jealous. Some nice ten back turtles. Ten back turtles. It's not something you see every day. Still in the package. Yeah. Some Django Django's. figures. They don't make these bad boys anymore. I got another good one right here. Look at this action force. That's actually really nice. That is the October Guard G.I. Joe convention souvenir figure set. This is the club exclusive. So we'll take a quick look at these. 
Now, as a G.I. Joe collector, this is killing me not to take this home right now. But I'm not going to do it because I'm going to leave it and let you guys come <laughs> get it tomorrow. Hey, you take it, take it. Well, I can take it slim here real quick. There's just All right. a bunch of graded stuff. So. Oh, we have graded toys. All right. I know a lot of you guys collect graded comics, but let's look at some graded toys. Can I pull some of these out? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, some of these? Look at that. There's Mutt graded. Cherry. Ah, uh, Ahsoka graded 9.0 uncirculated. Now my son's gonna put up a fit, but he's not getting it. Uh, he loves Ahsoka. Wow. Walgreens exclusive, Boba Fett prototype. That grayed out at a nine. For the GI Joe fans out there as well. Seth has some amazing items for you guys to come get tomorrow. <laughs> I do, actually. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever seen that. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Come see us tomorrow. You'll have a blast. Once again, we open up at 9 a.m. for VIPs, 10 a.m. for general admission. All right, Loco for Comics. And as you can see, they have a crazy amount of comics. They're setting up, getting set up ready for tomorrow. You guys can catch them on Instagram. They had a video of some of the stuff they were bringing. Um, check that out. I'm not going to ask them to start pulling stuff out right now. They're busy setting up. All right, we talked about the Tokyo Toy Box. Now we've got some Tokyo action. We see some anime stuff, if not just in the boxes now. And wow, this stuff is awesome. And there is a lot of it. I'm going to step in here and take a look real quick. All right, My Hero Academia fans. Dragon Ball Z. Naruto. So we're just going to take a quick little scan of some of the items they had. Now, this is just a fraction. Just a fraction of the items that they have available at Tokyo Toy Box. One vendor's already set up. He's got a bunch and bunch of pops. All right, so we're just gonna take a quick little scan through here. Brandon, my name's Rocky Spurlock. All right, we talked about Sean Lamb, author. She was an author also on the Brave Star cartoon in the 1980s one of my favorite cartoons one of the highly underrated cartoons in my opinion and she'll have books here that you can purchase her novels her Avalon series and she will also be given a panel about the Avalon book series and writing we also see Robert Lamb filmation writer and storyboard artist on He-Man and the Masters of the Universe and She-Ra Princess of Power so we're going to take a quick look at some of the stuff that he has got set out here. We see we have some Brave Star scripts, she scripts. We have some animation that he's done, some art. Now, this is absolutely amazing to me. When we saw the pop, the He-Man on the Battle Cat. It is autographed by Robert Lamb. And he is also illustrated on the side we see that Skeletor She-Ra all right so be sure to stop by and check out Robert Lamb and Dan Jolly LT writing here with his wrestling romance trilogy okay so he'll be here tomorrow with Brody Dreams Come True, Happily Ever After, his books, his trilogy. And also, appearing courtesy of Lee Lunsford and LT Riding, former TNA Knockout, or excuse me, former Impact Knockout Champion, and former Impact Knockout Tag Team Champion, Miss Jordan Grace. And she will be right here. Yeah, CJ, I agree. That Skeletor is amazing. Yeah, and this is one here, too. We got 
Aaron Brewster has joined us, former guest at Farley Con. He's been in pretty much everything in the imaginable The Walking Dead, Avengers. Aaron, it's good to see you on here. And look at this He Man. I mean, I wish I had an ounce of this talent to draw this. All right, so that's going to. We flip this around here. All right, so let's go finish up our tour for right now. Uh, I'm gonna, oh, actually, I'm gonna show you some other things over here. And you're gonna see this when you first walk through the door. They're getting set up here. Let me flip it back around. How cool is that? They're also washable too. They're washable. Those things are amazingly cool. And then the uh, long dragons that I have out are also. So let's check out these dragons over here as well. So you dragon fans, check this stuff out. One thing I do want to show you off too is, you guys want a photo in front of our FarleyCon banner. It'll be located right here. So we do have a photo area. If you want to come take a photo, pops for patience with the Andrew Germain Memorial Pops for Patients toy drive. These pops, I've brought some that we've been donated in. Uh, these pops will be uh, collected tomorrow and they will be donated to Children's Hospital. Waiting to hear, will be right here. They'll have some just really cool autographs. You can go to our website, uh, our Facebook page. They have an event created. Uh, in that event, you'll see the list of items that they will have available for the auction. One of them is a multiple signed comic book that was also signed by Stan Lee. Uh, they will, I know they also have a Harrison Ford Han Solo autograph. Hey, CJ, we're glad you're going to be here too with that. I'm going to see our panel list here. We've got covered up. So we're starting off at 12 tomorrow with Creating Comics with Dan Jolly and Jason Flowers. 1 p.m. is Epic Storytelling with Rob and Sean Lamb. 2 p.m. is the legendary Marvel editor-in-chief Jim Shooter as he talks about his career, a career that started when he was only 13 years old. And then at 3 p.m. we're going to finish up our panels with the Andrew Drew Game Jermaine Memorial Charity Auction that will benefit Waiting to Hear. So as you guys may have seen, uh, this year we did uh, lose Drew Game, uh, Andrew Germain. He was a big part of Farley Con in the past. He ran our Pops for Patients table. Uh, it was a big part of Pops for Patients. So to honor him and to keep his memory going, uh, us at Farley Con, we wanted to rename our Pops for Patients drive and our not so silent auction uh, to honor his memory. Once again, rough edges, they're still setting up. We have more vendors setting up back here. With more, it'll come in and load in tomorrow and set up. Do one quick little look here. KDS Comics, we didn't get to a minute ago. So we're gonna see KDS Comics. They've got comics, they've got Milo Ponies. We got a talking flash. There's She-Ra. Amazing items. Got back to school specials there running. Adventure Time, you can check out their videos on the Facebook page. There's Robert from KDS. Hey. We got, we got the back to school specials here. We got a Lego Batman special. We got the, the lunchbox, the backpack, the book bag, a, a book and a pencil bag, all for $25. Uh, you can't beat that. Uh, so, uh, some other backpacks. Got a Adventure Time play set with a talking sword. Talking sword goes for twenty to twenty-five dollars on eBay. So, you know, get the whole set with the, the backpack and the T-shirt and the hat for uh, thirty dollars. Can't so, beat uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So they've got all kinds of things. You know, they got comics. Uh, let's take a look at some comics here. Just flipping through. Box. Yeah. These are. Oh, these are your dollar box. Dollar box. Yeah. Hey, it's man these my, thing. These are my famous ones, signed by Shooter. 
<laughs> hey, I know where Jim Shooter's gonna be tomorrow. That's right. Jim Shooter will be here at FarleyCon. But we have other autographed comics. We got a, Look we here, plenty. Scotty Young. Uh, George Tuska. Where did he sign? He, oh, he signed It was inside, too. yeah. No, he, he signed on the cover. No, the, the other one was inside. Obscure. Yeah. He signed someplace obscure. And, uh, <laughs> Look here. So Chris Claremont, he George already Perez. signed right across the title there. He didn't like the title, so I guess he crossed, signed across the title. Chris Claremont's an awesome guy to meet. Yeah, Chuck, Chuck Dixon. Chuck Dixon, they got three autographs on that one. Ten bucks, so, you can't beat that. All right. That's cheaper probably than it would cost to get the autograph. No doubt. Thanks, man. Appreciate the promo. Hey, you're welcome. All right, we're also going to look at Sea of Bricks. That'll be over here as well. They're getting set up. We'll take a little quick sneak peek while he's pulling stuff. Look at this. What? Look, look. Mini pigs. And Wolverine mini pigs. Amazing items. Be sure to stop by, see him. And it's not just mini pigs he has. He's got wands, stickers, and all kinds of items. I got a ton of Demon Slayer merch in. Really good. All the kids like that. I do. Awesome. <laughs> I'm a big kid. <laughs> Me too. I think that's why we do this. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we have a meeting of the minds going on here with Henry and Bobby. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh, Bobby, step aside for just one second, please. We got Loki. And I think he's a variant. He is a variant. But we're all variants. We just don't know it. <laughs> so, tomorrow... FarleyCon. Oh, we've got Twin Seater Enterprises setting up. Yes, hello. We're going to grab them and kind of ambush them before they get set up here. Hey, Welcome, guys. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, doing good. Very excited to be here. Uh, just getting set up and ready for tomorrow and looking forward to seeing everybody. Looking forward to seeing you guys and see what all y'all have set up once you get done. Excellent. It's going to be interesting. Thank you. It's going to be an interesting setup. It'll be a combination. We have our uh, books for our authors. Um, it's just the two of us, plus we'll have some leather items that we uh, create homemade, so it'll all be an interesting oh, cool. booth. So. Cool. Hey, be sure to stop by and see Twin Cedars Enterprises. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, so we're flipping this back around. All right, so we're going back through here now. We're finished up with our tour, uh, getting ready to wrap up the pre-show setup. Uh, once again... The doors open tomorrow for VIPs at 9 a.m. VIP tickets are still available at the door for a limited time. Uh, VIP tickets include uh, early admission. You get it at 9, general admission starts at 10. You also get our exclusive limited edition print. It's 11 by 17 print of G.I. Joe number one with the Falicon logo on it. And it will also be signed by Jim Shooter or you will take it to Jim Shooter and he will sign it uh, tomorrow I'm gonna take a quick walk back up here to the front and show you the print one more time and some other things we got going at the front desk we got free comic book day sponsored in part by Epico's comics you can stop by and see Clay and Mike Renegar Renegar will have the pins and lanyards we have the limited edition pins the colored pins are numbered to 100 the black and whites are limited to 50 and they are numbered and we have a, lany a lanyard the pins are five dollars a piece the lanyard is two dollars if you buy both of them uh, both pins you will get a free lanyard also Renegar has going to donate a percentage of the sales to the charities and finally we're going to stop right here with the G.I. Joe limited edition exclusive FarleyCon print. Now these are limited to only 200. VIPs have them included in their package. If we have any available, uh, they will be available for purchase as well. All right, so this is where you guys will come in. You will check in. Uh, come through these doors. We'll have a space set up for will call. For you guys that purchased your tickets beforehand, you'll come straight in, go straight to will call, get your uh, bracelets, 
and your limited edition prints if you purchase the VIP. We will also have a place set up here for cash, and then we'll have one set up for credit as well. All right. Oh, wait. We got. I was fixing to end the video, but we just got a surprise appearance here. How's it going, hey, everybody? World famous Matthew Ashley. Y'all need to come this weekend. This is the place to be. All right, and you come see Matthew. Look at his amazing artwork. Incredible, talented Thank you. person. Um, and you know, I'm gonna say that, and I don't care what John said about you, but oh, there's a growing list. <laughs> Hey, be sure to stop by and check out these two guys. They are great. Two of our favorite guests we've always had. Um, super excited to have them back at FarleyCon. Absolutely. We can't wait to see everybody. And uh, hey, 9 a.m., doors open for VIPs, 10 o'clock for general admission. Stop by and see this guy and talk about Marvel. Stop by and talk to this guy about everything else that these guys have been in because they have been in everything, everything. you've seen. Um, great guys. Amazing guests, love them to death, great brothers. Stop by and see them. Guys, I'm going to end this video, and I'm going to talk to Matt for a minute. Um, hope to see you guys tomorrow.